Google's VO3 took the world by the storm by producing hyper-realistic videos. You might have seen some of these videos all over social media. N8N now offers a way to automate VO3 video production. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use N8N to produce VO3 videos at a fraction of a cost. Videos like these. Here we go! Oh. This is the high-level overview. It might look a bit daunting, but it's actually fairly simple. All this is doing is that it's first creating a set of video ideas. So that's where you have the first AI agent, the video ideas agent. It's using ChatGPT and based on a given prompt, it produces a whole bunch of video ideas. By the way, I'm gonna give prompts for everything that I've used here, links in the description. So the first AI agent is used to produce a whole bunch of video ideas. Those video ideas are then captured into this Google spreadsheet as the next step. The third step, is using or referencing the original video ideas created by the first AI agent. Using those video ideas, it then creates a VO3 specific prompt. Now there are specific ways in which the prompt is generated and instructions for generating the prompt are again laid out in the AI agent. Links in the description that details everything around how I have used this VO3 prompt AI agent. Next, using the VO3 prompt, we pass that prompt on to the generate video step. This uses HTTP POST API, REST API, for a service called replicate.com. Replicate then talks to Google VO3 and produces a video. It takes a little longer for the video to be produced. That's where we have the wait state. We wait for a little bit. In this case, I'm waiting one minute and we check with replicate.com to see if the video has been produced. And then we retrieve the video if the video has been produced and then we update our original video idea spreadsheet with the final video. That's it, it's as simple as that. Now let's explore each component in detail. The first component is the video ideas AI agent. I'm defining the prompt here. I'm basically just saying generate a concept featuring a Yeti engaging in a vlog. Again, all of these prompts and descriptions for each component I've given links in the description below. And on top of that, this is the actual prompt that we're passing to the AI agent. But before we pass the prompt, we are instructing the agent, we're teaching the agent about the task. That's where the system message comes into play. The system message basically describes and gives the overall context for this AI agent. It explains what do you have to think about when you take the prompt into consideration. The next step is capturing video ideas. For that, we use a Google Sheets component. And once you go in there, you basically have to connect your Google Sheets account and select a specific sheet. I've created a Google Sheet here called VO3 Video Ideas internally, and I have defined, let's take a look at the structure of the VO3 Video Ideas spreadsheet. It has these columns, an ID, a numerical ID, and a column for storing an idea, a scene that describes the scene, and a status. Status is basically brand new ideas that are just generated and a video that has not been produced. There are a couple of statuses. Status number one is to do. Anytime you produce a new a, a video idea, you just give it a status of to do. Once a video has been completed, generated by VO3, you output the video URL in the final column and you change the status to done or something like that, just so you're able to keep a track of all the ideas and what the status of each video idea is. So now let's go back to the definition here. We're basically just mapping each column and we're mapping the output from the previous component, which was the video ideas generating agent. And we're pulling each component in there and mapping each column. That's all we're doing in this state. It's very, very simple. Next, we take the video ideas and we produce the Google VO3 prompt using the AI agent in the next component. Let's take a look at that. All it does is that it I've asked it to produce a Google VO3 prompt using the idea and the scene that I have retrieved from the previous steps. That's all this is. And I have given it a detailed system message. 
And again, link is in the description that walks you through everything. And once that using that information, the system message and the prompt, it produces a detailed VO3 prompt that we can now feed on to replicate.com eventually to be passed on to Google VO3 to, to produce a video as we will see in the next step. To generate the Google VO3 videos, we use a service called replicate.com. Now this is a paid service, replicate interfaces with Google VO3 and it acts as a buffer or as a wrapper or as a middleman and it simplifies the entire Google VO3 video generation process. Plus on top of that, you don't have to pay the $250 or something, whatever that Google VO3 requires. It makes it incredibly simple. Again, keep in mind that this is a paid service. It costs around $6 or so to create an eight second video. So please keep that in mind. So now let's delve into what's required for generating a replicate.com video. And again, I'm gonna explain everything in a document, links in the description below. I walk you through all the steps on how to set everything up. But basically you're using Replicate's APIs and you're using an HTTP post method and you're passing in the prompt that was generated in the previous component in the previous state by the video VEO3 prompt generation AI agent. You just take that prompt, you pass it in, and you essentially schedule a video generation job. You just tell Replicate, hey, here's the prompt, go ahead and generate a video for me. And video generation takes a little longer, so you just have to wait a little bit. And that's where the next step comes in. You just basically wait. And in this case, I'm waiting for about 60 seconds. And after that, I'm using this if loop. I'm checking if the output video has been generated. The next step is the video retrieval step in which you, again, query replicates APIs to get the video that was just generated. And if the video output is generated, the final step is you just go back to your original sheet and you update it with status as done and the final video output URL. That's all there is. If you have watched the video till the end, thank you very much. I've explained each step in detail along with their prompts and in detailed instructions on how to set up Replicate. Please follow the link in the description below. And if you found value in this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Please let me know how you're playing around with this entire setup, how, does, how this works for you. And if you have any questions for me, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer each and every comment. Thank you so much.